everyone. Today I wanted to do a really simple tutorial on how to repot a plant. I've had a number of people ask me exactly how do you repot a plant, so I thought I'd do this tutorial. Now normally I would hope that people would be able to repot outside. Now unfortunately I can't do that here because living in an apartment it means I don't have a backyard and we also don't have a balcony, so it means any of the replanting that we do is done inside. I don't normally do it on my table though, I normally do it in the kitchen on the counter because I just find that it's a lot easier to clean up in there. But when doing it inside, this is a good way to do it. So I take a plate, as you can see I've already been repotting, and I take my plant and I gently try to get it out of the pot. Now sometimes this can be very difficult because roots are growing out of the bottom, and if that's the case you'll need to clip the pot so that you can actually get the plant out with all the roots intact. But as you can see with this one, there's no roots coming out of the bottom. So what I do is I hold it at the very base of the stalk where the stalks are the strongest, and I gently tug at the plant. Again, gently. And then the first thing I like to do when taking it out of the pot is inspecting the roots. I want to make sure that none of them are damaged, none of them are rotting, and I just want to make sure that they're generally healthy. So at this stage I can see that they're healthy, which is really good. And then I start to take the dirt off. Now dirt will go a lot of places. It's on the table, it's on the floor, but the good thing is, is it's not that wet, so I can just vacuum it up right away, which is what I'll do when this video is done. So now I'm gently pulling at this soil to take the soil off. And I just like to move the roots around just a little bit. So it's one of those things where you need to use enough pressure to get some of the dirt off, but you also want to be gentle enough that you're not destroying the roots. Now a few little baby roots will come off. You'll probably, yeah, you're not going to be able to see it, but it's the teensiest little root ever covered in soil. And that's okay. So I'm taking as much dirt off as I can, then I like to shake the plant out a little bit. And typically I do this stage directly over the garbage can just because I find it's a lot easier to put the soil directly in there. And I know that some people, when they repot their plants, make sure to get every little last bit of dirt off. I don't, and I've had no problem with that so far. That's probably about good for now. Now one thing, when you're repotting a plant, you want to make sure that the, um, the pot that you're putting it in isn't extremely um, an adjustment for the plant. So as you can see the original pot there and the new terracotta plant there and it's probably about one size bigger which is actually really good for the plant. Now I'm going to put it back in here while I work on the next step. Now an advantage to using terracotta is that terracotta is made out of a material that is breathable so this allows air to get into the roots which is incredibly important and air to also circulate through the soil and terracotta also helps to remove moisture from the plants as well. So in the next stage, I'm going to grab my trusty planting tray, <laughs> I'm going to put my pot there, and I use just a basic potting mix, kind of whatever I can find depending on the nursery that I'm shopping at or the plant store, and then I, I like to use a spoon even though I'll use my hands anyway. So I'm going to start putting some soil in there, not too much because this pot is fairly close in size to the original pot. and then. With my fingers, I like to move the soil around a little bit to kind of create a bit of a pocket for the soil. Put this in here just to make sure it fits. Yep, seems to fit great. And now I'm just gonna spoon the fresh soil into the pot. Again, I'm gonna make a mess. I've resigned myself to the fact that there's soil everywhere and it's super easy to clean up. Also, I don't have white carpets too, so that helps. <laughs> Gently lift up the leaves. Now try to be careful too because sometimes you can actually rip the leaves off or snap them off, especially with succulents. Succulents can be incredibly difficult because there tends to be a lot of casualties when you're repotting. And then at this stage too, I like to use my fingers to gently pat it down. And I'm only doing this to make sure that there's enough soil actually in the pot. I'm not doing it to smash down the soil. Oh, I just, I can feel that there's a hole there. When you're picking out a pot, make sure that there's a drainage hole in the bottom because that allows excess soil to drain out. Now take your, your little plastic thing to put on the bottom and give it a thorough watering. The first time I water a plant after transplanting it or repotting it, I make sure that it gets a thorough soaking. I make sure that the water comes pouring out the bottom. And there's a number of reasons for this. One, I want to make sure that the soil is adequately um, has enough water. 
And two, the water helps to push down the soil too. So it'll show you where there's little pockets where you may have put some air in the soil and then not enough soil is actually in there. Also, the plant's a little bit flimsy too, which means that I definitely need to put a bit more soil in, but not too much. So just a little bit more soil, which is good. All there is to it it's that easy now for the next week or two I'm going to keep a really close eye on this plant most plants fare really well after they've been um, put into a new pot but sometimes plants can have a bit of a bit of a meltdown when that happens so I'll just keep a very close eye on this one make sure it's doing okay add some more soil if I need to as the soil starts to settle and really it's as simple as that